Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple run in place. I have prepared, I drew the character beforehand, and I'm going to show you a little bit how to set it up first, and then we're going to get to animating the actual run. So, see this robot? I've created it, I drew it with primitives, and then I uh, aligned the primitives into the groups. So, basically, when you double click on any body part of this, you can go inside and you could see that those are just shapes I created with these tools. So squares and circles and then I uh, align them and then I group them all together. So there's this option group. When you group something it creates like a big uh, conglomeration of all the stuff you drew. So I just go back, I click here, go back into the view. And uh, yeah, so this is the head for example. And another thing that you need to do is separate the arms and legs, which is what you're going to animate for running, into manageable chunks, joints, like a puppet skeleton. So, as you can see, the elbows and the, the shoulders and the wrists, they're all separate, so that you can move them in an efficient way, like this, for example. And uh, the way it's set up is uh, those guys have a pivot that they rotate around. Like, for example, here the pivot is here. Uh, this is what happens when you just draw a square. And you can see the pivot's right in the center. And uh, this is where it indicates where the pivot is on the object you just drew. And you can uh, switch it by clicking all these things. Right? So, I'm going to get rid of this. But uh, here. The pivot is in the circle of the joint, the center of this uh, circle, right? And the way uh, you get to do that is that uh, you just you you see this uh, little uh, cross hairs over there. That's where the pivot is. That's where the rotation point is. So be sure to align it to the place where you want your joint to rotate from. So uh, this is almost right. It's just maybe a little bit to the side, like right in there. There you go. So. That seems about right. And um, another thing for the character setup is uh, be sure to name your layers and organize them so that the things that are closer to you are higher on the layers. So right now, for example, the head is pretty high. And then the, in front of it is this arm, so it's even higher. And uh, they're all named, so if I need to find something quickly, I just find the layer with it and I click on it. Okay, right, so now we're ready to animate our run, our run cycle. This is going to be a loop, which means the first and the last frames are the same, so that they can just repeat it eternally, and uh, it'll be just running in place internally. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch this little button, we're going to switch it to animate, and then, um, just not to, not to get confused when we're clicking on stuff, I'm going to lock the torso layer and the pelvis layer, and I'm going to wireframe those guys so uh, I can see behind right so I can see this arm and I can uh, safely just get this stuff and uh, yeah the, also if you notice my ground layers and my ground layers are also locked so that I can't I can't click on them I can't accidentally do anything to them when you're in animate mode everything you do animatron extrapolates from the previous pose to the pose you just made that's called a tween right so uh, for example I move let me get this. Wait, let's see. So I move this here, and if you can see, it created a keyframe, and now it's just moving. Like, I don't want it to move there, but it does it. So I'm just gonna take that back. Yeah. Okay, so let's start animating. So this pose is the same as our last pose, but the pose in the middle is the other extreme when he's. Uh, He's just doing the opposite motion, right? His uh, right arm is forward and, and his uh, left leg is forward, as opposed to what it is now. So uh, let's pose it up. And uh, be sure when you're doing that, move uh, move the objects, the groups that are separated on different layers, separately. Because if you select all of them and move them, it's prone to doing weird stuff. So just, just do this. And then, uh, yeah, just uh, move them to the opposite position. Shouldn't be that hard. 
it's very very simple and since uh, we set up all the pivots so it's easy to rotate let's do it uh, with the other arm and then after that we'll do that with legs and that would be the pose in the middle right the other side of the jump during his run so there's his arms so as you can see it's just going in a straight line right uh, don't worry about it later we'll put another keyframe in there and then it'll do it properly but right now this is exactly what it's supposed to do and uh, let's do the same thing with his legs so let's move uh, you noticed I made the back legs and the back arms a little bit darker just so it would be easier to distinguish them from the things that are in front because sometimes it can get really jumbled and it will probably get jumbled at one point as you can see this is very very simple and mechanical just move it to the opposite side and uh, there you go okay so this is one pose and over here you just need to move it uh, as you can see the length of this run cycle it's I've decided it's gonna be one second this is the little tool that indicates how long is your timeline right because uh, over here it goes infinitely to the right right but I've decided that this is gonna be one second long so at half of it we're doing this pose and at one second it's coming back to the original pose so let's just uh, let's move back to the original pose again very very simple just rotating these things by one by one trying to hit kind of in the ballpark of the first pose that he made and uh, there that's that's the arms and now let's do the legs so right Leg. And then leg number two. And over here, it's going to be important that this pose is as close as possible to the first pose. So now, okay, so let's see, it's doing it right. So now we can just check, right? Uh, this way, it's 103 degrees, right? So let's move uh, later onto our timeline to the last one, and this is 76 degrees. So let's 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 put it back where it should be 103 degrees, right? And then uh, let's move these guys somewhere over there. And uh, yeah, and you can check this too. Let's see, this one's 276. So let's do it. It's not rocket sounds, just kind of making sure it's somewhere in the ballpark yeah so this arm is fine let's check this arm now so this is a 47 so let's see this is uh, pretty close let's see, 47 and this one is 445 that's And the same thing with the legs. Again, 439. And uh, let's see, 439, and this one is 422. And uh, be sure to move the joints into the center. They're kind of making it easier to make it a little bit uh, not as precise because those circles are kind of obscuring imprecisions that you might make okay so one of these legs is good and let's see the other leg 307 307 let's see the other leg right and uh, 
253 274 so positioning wise I'm kind of keeping them in the same area but you can also be precise and look at these coordinates and try and uh, fit those coordinates exactly I forgot how much it was it was 253 so 253 and then kind of this, I guess. Yeah. Okay, great. So those are the poses when the uh, robot is in the air during the run. Right now, we are going to put in in betweens. So those poses, the poses in the, in between those uh, extremes. And these poses, he is planting his feet on the ground, right? And here too. So. Uh, Let's try, let's try and figure this out. I'm going to unlock his pelvis in the torso because uh, we need to give him a little bit of weight. So in those positions we're gonna move his whole body down a tiny bit. Right? And then move it down. Maybe even more down. And then uh, Let's assemble his arms. Arms first, and then let's do legs. Again, very, very simple. Just drag these arms where you think they should be. And it should just take care of himself, basically. And uh, you can lock the torso and the pelvis again, just so you can grab this stuff easier. Right, and uh, again, rotate. Rotate, put it back in, and then, uh, yeah, and the same thing here. So this is a foot. It's going to be touching the ground. So here we go. This is one position. You can see how it's starting to work. And then uh, here, let's move him up a little tiny bit. Just so uh, things would align with what they should align with. Pelvis and torso. Up, and then the head and the neck up okay so there one and then uh, two right so in uh, this position it's the same thing as this position basically just replicate it it'll be exactly right uh, Move all the legs down. And it should just accidentally move the pelvis. It should just work. And move these guys down. We already moved the pelvis down, so it should be okay. So these are the legs. Right. And then uh, let's move to the same thing with the arms. Extremely, extremely easy and again if you're grabbing things you don't want to grab just lock them and there you go there's the sand just do this and uh, here we are one two it's uh so this is the base it's pretty close to being done so right now you can do things to make it better like for example make him hit the ground a little bit earlier like get his foot on the ground right here and then this will look a little bit more natural right so right and then he did it right he hits the ground and then he drags up and then uh, right here and then same thing here so he hits the ground uh, with the other leg first, 
like let's say somewhere here and then uh, continues and also um, you will notice the twins aren't very precise so you can just go on every keyframe that you don't like the way it's aligned right and just change it because the way animatron does it it just remembers what you do so just you know align it differently and uh, there is a very very simple run cycle let's try and publish a publish an animated gif of this uh, so frames per second it's 15 the loop is checked and then you just click publish and then uh, you click publish it tells you this way and you click open and then uh, here's the result this is what happens right now when you publish it and then uh, you can go back and see what doesn't look good and uh, make it more and more polished but uh, this is efficient it does a job and another thing you can do if you just want to publish a video then you can go on uh, you can go on every you can expand the timeline let's say to 12 seconds or whatever and uh, just uh, go on every frame and uh, click on the last keyframe you can just left click and then uh, you can put in a loop so this way it will just loop it 15 times in a row so it runs 15 times in a row so if you publish it on let's say the animatron website if you want to show up it will uh, instead of running once it will just run 15 times if you put in zero it'll just run infinitely but until this little thing so infinitely for 20 seconds uh, oh I forgot a couple of frames there they are and uh, again all the actions are simple but there's just there's some there's a number of them because he has a bunch of body parts and uh, this is what's gonna happen uh, okay let's try and play it there you go now it just keeps running for, for 15 times and uh, that's the end of the tutorial uh, have fun doing it with your own characters thanks